Depths Evoke 4.0, biggest in the lineup. Again, when times are tough, instead of downsizing, upsize. And, man, awesome crankbait. Anyway, the bite's been super, super tough. And for some reason, I was downsizing. And then I was like, well, I'm going to start picking up this crankbait again because the crankbait kind of died off. And then I went out and was throwing it the one day and caught the one on it. And was like, oh, man, just so happy I caught one on it. Didn't think it was going to happen again. But then today, I done went out. Because the wind was blowing 90. You couldn't feel the bottom if you had a one ounce on. And they were just crushing the crankbait. But yeah, this was the first one I caught on it. And I was like, oh, I can't believe that just happened. I was going to make a whole video over this one video. But yeah, huge crankbait. Thumps super hard. But it's kind of like a lethargic thump. Um... Yeah, here's the day I went out and beat on them. Yeah, I mean, I was throwing different crankbaits too. It's not like this was the one I made work. This was the only one that was working. I mean, I went from the Strike King, you know, the 3XD, um, the DT10, the Rapala. Couldn't get bit. OSPs wouldn't get bit. But this big old Doughboy Magnum crankbait did. Again, it comes with awesome hooks right out of the package. They're uh, Ryugi or however you say it. And it shows. I put the... I did a video. There's a video at the end of me talking about the baits. And you can see them in the hand. See how big it is. But yeah, they literally went by nothing. I mean, I had them on a jig out here. And then I screwed up and I got on top of the fish. And then they went bite the jig again. And yeah, look how fat that one is. He's pretty yellow too. He's new to coming out to the big water. And um, so yeah, after the jig bite died, I was like... Well, I picked up the old uh, Magnum crankbait, the Depths Evo 4.0, um, just because I knew I could hit bottom. So the hump comes up to about 7 feet, and they were kind of sitting off in 12 feet. And so I could get that bait on 16-pound floral to hit that 12-pound mark pretty good. And like I said, it's a lethargic hump thump so i didn't get that big slack in the line crankbait bite that you normally get you know it was just kind of like dead weight hanging on there and i was using the daiwa 74 that uh chatterbait rod i like it for like mid and deep cranks but i wish I had a bigger rod for it because I felt like I was pulling the hooks out a little bit like if I had a 7.6 it would have been more comfortable and again this bait runs true out of the package didn't have to adjust nothing um I couldn't blow it out um reeling it as fast as I could and man it's just a beast again they wouldn't bite the smaller stuff they wouldn't bite um after the jig bite died, fired him up with the crankbait. Caught a bunch of pike on it too, but no need to show all that. And yeah, it was blowing crazy. And it wasn't fast and furious out there like it was on the jig. I caught three on the jig, bam, bam, bam. And then with the crankbait, I kind of had to work the area. I had to circle around it a few times and hit them from different angles and it and it paid off got a bunch of really nice ones 
because the bite's been super tough. Haven't even been going out this first day out in a few days. And it happened really quick. And it's funny, there's only two spots I can get bit on. This hump, and then there's a uh, rock line or a ridge or drop off. That's the only place I can get bit on the lake right now. But yeah, I've been seeing the fish when I've been trolling around, just putzing around. The fish are just like laying on the bottom for the last couple weeks. And then today they weren't. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, I'm going to go throw that crankbait out on the hump. And bam. Caught a bunch of them. And what's awesome about this bait, too, is, man, when it's windy and there's a crankbait bite and you can't get your crankbait where you need it to go, pff, this thing goes there. No problem throwing it into the wind, with the wind, sideways. Yep. Awesome bait. Yeah, I had to net them because on a few of them, I just had the back hook in their mouth. But I mean, didn't lose them. Caught all of them. Well, that night, that night was just a psych. Psych. Yeah. <laughs> Hit that slow motion there, didn't I? And that's a reminder, if you're out fishing, be careful of treble hooks. Don't need to get one in the hand. We've all been there. We've all seen it. That one was so big I had to get the face in the picture. Just a chunk. Look how yellow he is. All right, let's look at the Depths 4.0. It's a beast. I lost my tripod for the camera, so I'm kind of holding <laughs> the camera with one hand here. And of course, like a crankbait, it's tangled up. Ow, 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 ow. Super sharp hooks. If you couldn't tell, it just pierced blood. But anyway, look at that beast, dude. It's huge. Mega, magnum size. Just a beast, fat all the way around. Awesome, awesome bait. Here's it compared to the 3.0. Here's the 2.0, which is about like your standard two point size. And here's the the 1.2. They also have a 1.8, which I'm pretty positive is the same body size. It's just got a longer bill. I don't know. I can double check that once I get to those videos more. But anyway, man, that's a juicy lineup. That's the episode, guys. Thanks for watching.